Hi and welcome to my Python YouTube channel. It's awesome to have you here. If you like this video, a thumbs up would be great. And make sure to subscribe for future videos. I also have a blog at prospercoder.com with lots of cool stuff, so feel free to check it out. In the previous part we were talking in general about Canvas, coordinate space and Canvas drawing instructions, so vertex instructions and context instructions. In this part we'll concentrate on the vertex instructions that we use to draw basic shapes on a widget. In order to draw a shape we have to choose a widget we want to draw it on. Let's create a simple file which will not be included in our project that we can use to practice. Let's name it test.py. Let's also create the corresponding test.kv file. Here the actual drawing will be done. Now the root widget is going to be a 2x2 grid layout in which we will draw 4 shapes. They're going to be all white for now, which we will be able to change after we discuss colors. Now I'm not going to type the whole KV code in one go, but rather piece by piece so that you can see exactly what's going on. Let's start with the Python code though, which is pretty simple and straightforward. Here it is in our test.py file. So here we have our imports and here's our root widget that inherits from box layout. And now let's start our Kiwi file and draw the first shape, a rectangle. So let's type in some initial code, something like this. So here's our root widget, it's a vertical box layout. And here inside this root widget we have a grid layout a 2x2 two two grid layout and here's our first shape, a rectangle on a box layout. So here we have a box layout on which we want to draw the rectangle and here we have canvas. This is how we use the canvas instructions on a widget. Here we specify that we want to draw a rectangle and we specify its position as self x, self y, so self here refers to box layout. So the rectangle should be at the same position as the box layout and size self-width, self-height. So again, the width and the height of the box layout, which means it's going to cover all the box layout. And now let's save and let's run the app. Here we have the box layout and the rectangle on the box layout, which occupies the whole area of the box layout. And this black parameter here is only visible because we added some padding. Next, let's draw an ellipse. So let's continue with our code. We just add to the grid layout. So. The first shape is our rectangle. Now the second shape is an ellipse and a button. So we need a button and here canvas, which is the canvas of the button. Here we want an ellipse to be drawn with a position set to self center x minus 50. So this is the center x property of button minus 50 and self center y minus 25. And the size should be 100 by 60. So from now on, I'm going to add small snippets with code for each particular shape. Just add them below the code that you added before, watching the indentation like here. Now, if you run this code now, let's save and run. You will see the two shapes. So the box layout with the rectangle and the button with the ellipse. So this is a box layout and this is a button. You can click on it and you can see that it just works like a button. Now each occupies half the available space. And now let's draw a line or better two lines. A line is basically a sequence of points. 
Each point is a pair of x and y coordinates. We can also specify the width of the line. So let's add shape 3. Lines on a button. So we have a button and the button's canvas with line 1 and line 2. Here we specify the x and y coordinates. So the first line should begin at the position x equals self x plus 20. So the x position of button plus 20 pixels and self y plus 20. So self here refers to button. Now the second point should be at these two coordinates x and y. The width of the line should be 4. Now the second line specifies the coordinates of the points. So x equals 200, y equals 200. This is the first point. This is the second point, x, y. The third point, x, y. And the fourth point, x, y. Let's save and let's run it. As you can see, the first line is straight and thicker. It consists of just two points, the coordinates of which are relative to the coordinates of the button they're drawn on. We use the self variable. The second line consists of more points which are connected to form segments. Here the coordinates are absolute, so the line is always drawn at the same coordinates, which may be outside the button. The next shape we're going to draw is the border of a rounded rectangle. We'll be using this shape in our application to draw the rounded borders of the particular parts of our GUI, like the game info panel or bat screen, to mention just a few. Again, as this is going to be just the border, we have to use line instructions. So let's add the code. So this time we want to draw a border of a rounded rectangle on a button. So we have the button and canvas a line. And here we have the rounded rectangle property, which specifies the x and y coordinates, x and y, and then the width and height of the rounded rectangle and the radius. So let's save and run. Here you can see the rounded rectangle, the outline or the border of the rounded rectangle. Now, these are just a couple examples. There are lots of other vertex instructions that let you draw other shapes, but I think you have the general idea now how it works. In the next part, we'll add rounded rectangles, or rather just the borders, to our app. Okay, that's it for this video. If you like it, a thumbs up would be great. Also, make sure to subscribe for future videos. If you want to leave a comment or ask a question, you're welcome to do so. Thanks for watching.